Before we get into our lesson for today, let's recall first your understanding about our previous lesson. Are you ready? Let's begin. What are these pictures? Absolutely right! These are just few types of carrying and transporting injured victims. How important is knowing the different techniques of carrying and transporting the victims? Great! It's definitely important to know the different techniques of carrying and transporting injured victims to ensure the safety and not to aggravate the severity of the injury. It seems like your enthusiasm to learn to our new lesson today is innermost. Am I right? Now, it's time to dig what you're supposed to learn today. You'll be learning about first aid for common and intentional injuries. But before we proceed to our lesson, I'd like you to focus on the objectives that you must have met before the session ends. First, identify common and intentional injuries. And apply proper first aid procedure for common and intentional injuries in real situation. To give you a hint to what you are supposed to learn today, let's start our lesson by taking time answering the Let's Try activity. Read and analyze its questions and write the letter of the correct answer on your activity notebook. You will be given 5 seconds to answer each item. Ready? Let's begin. Which of the following injuries is caused by sudden obstructions of blood supply to the heart muscles? A. Burns B. Heart attack C. Heart exhaustion D. Sprain Time is up. The answer is letter B, heart attack. Question number two. What is a condition in which the blood supply to a part of the brain is suddenly and seriously impaired by a blood clot on a ruptured blood vessels? A, burns. B, heart attack. C, sprain. D, stroke. Did you get it right? Very good. The answer is letter D, stroke. Next question. Which of the following is not included in the proper first aid procedures of droning? A, lay down the person down on his back. B, transport the victim to a cool place. C, check breathing and open the airways. D, give rescue breaths and chest compressions if necessary. If your answer is letter B, you're right. Transport the victim to a cool place. Let's proceed to question number four. Arrange the following first aid procedures for heat exhaustions in order. A. One, two, three, four. B. Four, three, two, one. C. Four, two, one, three. D. Four, three, two, one. Did you answer letter D? Well, you are correct. Now for the last item. What do you call the partial or complete displacement of bones? A. Dislocation. B. Fracture. C. Spain. D. Strain. What's your answer? Yes, it's A, this location. What's your score? Have you answered the items perfectly? If not, don't worry learners. You will learn more as we go on to our discussion today. Now, let's deepen your understanding on the lesson first aid for common and intentional injuries. Unintentional injuries cannot be avoided. It happens anytime, 
at any place, and to anybody. We must therefore practice safety awareness at all times. But when injuries happen, appropriate knowledge and skills of the proper application in first aid could greatly help in alleviating pain, preventing further injury, prolong, and save lives. Let's identify each kind of common and intentional injuries. 1. Fracture Break or crack in a bone An open fracture pierces the skin surface while in a closed fracture, the skin above is intact. Here's how to apply first aid for fracture. First, check the vital signs. 2. Do not move the injured part. 3. Stop bleeding if there's any. 4. If you have to move the person, immobilize the broken part by splinting. And last, seek for medical help immediately. 2. Dislocation. Partial or complete displacement of the bones. Here's how to apply first aid for dislocation. 1. Call for help immediately. 2. Splint the affected part. 3. Do not try to move a dislocated part to force it back into place. 4. Apply ice on the injured part to reduce swelling. Sprain is injury to the ligaments of a bone due to accidental tearing or overstretching, while strain is injury to the muscles which is a result of the improper use of the muscles. Here's how to apply first aid for a sprain. First, rest the injured part. Second, apply ice. Third, compress the injured part. And last, elevate the injured part. Four, heat exhaustion. Caused by loss of salt and water due to excessively high temperature. This may lead to heat stroke and even death. Here's how to apply first aid for heat exhaustion. First, transport a victim to a cool place. Second, give him or her plenty of water. Third, check for vital signs. And last, seek medical help. 5. Food poisoning Caused by consuming food or drink that is contaminated with bacteria or viruses. Here's how to apply first aid for food poisoning. First, help the person to lie down and rest. Second, Give him plenty flavorless fluids to drink and bowls to use it for vomits. Third, call for medical help if the condition worsens. 6. Choking Results when a foreign object blocks the throat. Here's how to give first aid. First, ask the person if he is choking. Second, encourage him to cough. Third, when the person cannot speak or stops, Give him five back blows, stand behind him, and help him lean forward, support his chest with one hand, and give five sharp blows between the shoulder blades with the heel of your hand. Fourth, if back blows fail, try abdominal thrust. Stand behind the person and put your arms around the upper part of his abdomen. Clench your fist with thumbs inward. Place it between navel and the bottom of breastbone. Grab your fist with your other hand. Pull sharply inwards and upwards up to 5 minutes. Fifth, check his mouth. If obstruction is not cleared, repeat the back blows and abdominal thrust. The last, if obstruction is still has not cleared, call for ambulance. Continue until help arrives. Seven, drowning. Happens when air cannot get into the lungs because of water. It can cause immediate death when taken for granted. Here's how to give first aid. 1. Lay the person down on his or her back. 2. Check the breathing and open the airways. 3. Give rescue breaths and chest compression if necessary. 4. If the person is breathing, Place him or her in the recovery position. 5. Treat for hypothermia by removing wet clothing and covering him or her with a dry blanket. 8. Heart attack Caused by a sudden obstruction of blood supply to the part of the heart muscle. Here's how to give first aid. 1. Help the person sit or lie down with the head elevated. 2. Call for a medical help. 3. If the person is conscious, 
give him or her a full dose of aspirin and advise him or her to throw it slowly. 4. Constantly monitor the vital signs. Be prepared to give rescue breaths and chest compression. 9. Stroke Condition in which the blood supply to a part of the brain is suddenly and seriously impaired by a blood clot or ruptured blood vessel. Here's how to give first aid. 1. If the person is conscious, help him to lie down with his or her head and shoulder is slightly raised and supported. 2. Incline his head to affected side and place a towel on his shoulder to absorb any dribbling. 3. Call for a help. 4. Loosen any tight clothing. 5. Monitor vital signs and reassure the victim. 6. If the victim is unconscious, give rescue breathing and chest compression. 7. Call for an ambulance. Now that you've learned the first aid for common and intentional injuries and how you perform as such in cases your knowledge is tested, let's have an activity that will expound more your understanding towards the lesson discussed. Direction Distinguish if the following statements are correct or not. Write true if it states correct. If the statement is incorrectly stated, write the word or phrases that makes it wrong and replace with the correct one. Write your answer in your activity notebook. Number 1. Sprain is an injury to the alignments of a bone due to accidental tearing or overstretching. 2. Transport the victim to a cool place and give medicine to take are the first aid of heat exhaustion. 3. Give the person plenty flavored fluids to drink and vowel to use for vomiting if the person experiencing food poisoning. 4. Drowning results when a foreign object black the throat. 5. A laundry has fracture. The first thing you should do is to check the vital signs and not to move the injured part. Time's up. Let's check your answer. What is your answer in number one? Excellent. It's true. What about item number two? You're right. The word that makes the statement incorrect is medicine. And the correct word should be plenty of water. Let's reveal answer number three. The incorrect word is flavored and should be replaced with flavorless. Let's have answer number four. You're correct. The incorrect word is drowning and should be replaced by choking. And for the last item, the answer is true. Very good. You did a great job, learners. I'm confident that you got exactly the same answers. At this time, we'll have another activity that will test your understanding and will measure what you've gained from the lesson. Directions. Study the given situation of household scenarios which may result to unintentional injuries and answer the questions that follow. In one household, things are not properly arranged. Knives are put in a place where children can easily reach. Fruit and vegetable spillings are not properly thrown. Detergent bars and other laundry materials have no labels. A child is playing in the living room while the mother is cooking. Write one possible injury that may happen in the given situation. If you have witnessed the scenario, how are you going to help the victim? Here's the criteria, students, on how you will be graded in your work. Correctness of procedure, 2. Sincerity and observance of safety, 3. Total of 5 points. Have you chosen the appropriate scenario for the given situation? Have you cited the proper first aid to be applied on? If you have so, congratulations! You did great! I'm confident that you have learned from our lesson. I have a question for all of you to ponder. Which injury were you confident in giving first aid? Why do say so? We're almost done with our lesson today. Hence, it's time to sum up all that you've learned from the topic. This time, you're going to complete the statements by writing an appropriate word on the block. Choose your answer from the word box. Write your answer on your activity notebook. Here are the words to choose on to fill in each statement. Ready? Let's start! 
Number one, food poisoning is caused by consuming food or drink that is blank with bacteria. Number two, help the person sit or lie down with blank, elevated, and call for a medical help. Three, when the person cannot speak or stop coughing, give him blank blows. Four, if the person is conscious, help him to lie down with his head and shoulders slightly blank and supported. Number five, heart attack is caused by a sudden obstruction of blank supply to the heart muscle. We're almost done with our lesson. Here are the answers for this activity. How are you doing so far? That's great if you perfectly get the correct answers. Here we are in our last part of our lesson. Your understanding will be tested. This assessment will help you determine how much you know on the topic. Here's the directions. Choose the letter that corresponds to your answer. Write the letter of your answer on your activity notebook. Number 1. What is a condition in which the blood supply to a part of the brain is suddenly and seriously impaired by blood or ruptured blood vessel? A. Burns B. Heart attack C. Sprain D. Stroke Number 2. Which of the following is not included in the proper first aid procedures of drowning? A. Lay the person down on his back. B. Transport the victim to a cool place. C. Check breathing and open the airways. D. Give rescue breaths and chest compression if necessary. Number 3. Which is caused by sudden obstruction of blood supply to the heart muscle? A. Burn. B. Heart attack. C. Heat exhaustion. B. Stroke. Number 4. Arrange the following first aid procedures for heat exhaustions in order. A. 1, 2, 3, 4. B. 4, 3, 2, 1. C. 4, 2, 1, 3. D, 4, 3, 2, 1. Number 5. What do you call the partial or complete displacement of the bones? A, dislocation. B, fracture. C, sprain. D, shoulder drag. Time is up. Here are the answers for this assessment. Did you enjoy the activity? You did it great! Your score determines your understanding on the lessons. Congratulations, students! You completed the task on this episode. Great job! I am your health teacher, Mom Bunky. Thank you for tuning in.